All right, so I have this problem to find this limit, and this reminds me of that definition that the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches 0 equals 1. And realize this is also if x over sine of x as x approaches 0 equals 1. So what I would like to do is I would like to get first the tangent in terms of sine and cosine. So let's do that. The limit as x approaches 0. So the tangent of 3x becomes sine of 3x over cosine of 3x. And I'm just going to chunk this 1 over sine of 7x out to the side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into pieces meaning I'm going to put the sine of 3x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over cosine of 3x. So that's just that piece. I'm just splitting these up into pieces. Times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over sine of 7x. So, and I can even put that over 1. So as you can see with these pieces, this piece would be wonderful if it was sine of 3x over 3x. This piece would be wonderful if it was 7x over sine of 7x. Well, I can do that by multiplying every term by 1. So the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over 1. I'm going to multiply by 1 but I'm gonna, my 1's going to be 3x over 3x. And hopefully you can see the reason why is I'm going to get that 3x on the bottom there, and that's going to give me my 1. This piece right here, I can go, go ahead and just plug in 0. So I'm going to have 1 over cosine of 3 times 0, which is 1 over the cosine of 0, which is just 1, because the cosine of 0 is 1, so 1 over 1. And then this last piece, the limit as x approaches 0, of 1 over sine of 7x. Again, I would love this to be 7x over sine of x. So let's multiply this by 1, but let's call 1 7x over 7x. And again, the reason I'm doing that is now that I put these together, I end up with sine of 3x over this 3x, so 1 times 3x. And I still have a 3x out there up top, so I'm not going to do anything with that. I mean, you can put it over 1 again if you want. This 1 kind of went away, right? So I'm just multiplying by 1. And then I have the limit as x approaches 0. Let's move that 7x up top. And so I still have the 7x on the bottom. So by my definition back up here, I said that that limit equals 1, and this limit equals 1. So what I'm left with is the limit as x approaches 0 of 3x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 7x. So remember, these pieces became 1, so that's why they disappeared. And then finally, I can put these back together as the limit as x approaches 0 of 3x over 7x. As you can see, the x's cancel, so I have the limit as x approaches 0 of a constant which is just simply the constant. So the whole key to this was to try to get things in terms of that sine x over x as x approaches 0 equals 1, so those pieces end up going out.